let us define a set. It is any collection of well-defined objects. These objects are called elements or members of the set. Ano nga bang ibig sabihin ng well-defined? If you can easily decide whether the object is included in a set, then it is well-defined. Meaning, kung matutukoy mo agad na pasok sa set ang isang bagay na walang pag-aalinlangan, well-defined iyon. Examples, a set of primary colors. Well-defined ang set na ito dahil walang duda na ang blue, yellow, at red ay primary colors at ang orange, gray, at violet naman ay hindi. The same also for the rest of the examples. Here are other examples of sets or well-defined objects. The set of numbers between 0 and 10. The set of prime numbers, group of domestic animals, collection of shapes, the set of mountains in the Philippines. Now, these are not sets. Hindi sets ang mga ito dahil hindi naman sila well-defined. Halimbawa, group of beautiful actresses. May mga actress na maaaring maganda para sa akin pero hindi para sa iyo. Sabi nga, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Ganon din sa set of wise men. Kung walang malinaw na criteria or batayan kung ano nga ba ang wise men, ibig sabihin, it's not well-defined. How do we write sets? We use brace or curly bracket to enclose the elements and uppercase letters or capital letters naman kapag gusto nating pangalanan ng isang set. Makikita nyo sa mga susunod na part ng video kung paano ginagamit ang symbols na yan. There are three set notations. Ito yung iba't ibang paraan ng pagsusulat ng set. First is descriptive notation. It defines a set through verbal description. Sa so descriptive notation, isinusulat lang natin ang set in a form of a sentence or phrase. The second set notation is roster method, also known as listing method. Dito, inililista mo lang ang mga elements sa loob ng brace or curly bracket. Napansin mo ba yung mga letters na L, A, B, P sa examples? Yun ang mga pangalan ng mga sets na iyan. Samantalang ang mga numbers na 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9 ay elements or members ng set L. Ang A, E, I, O, at U naman ay elements ng set A. Apple, mango, guava, and banana are elements of set B. 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on are elements of set B. Set Builder Notation is the third way of writing a set. It defines the elements of a set by indicating its properties. Ito ang formal na paraan ng pagsulat ng set. Ganito natin binabasa ang set builder notation. G equals X such that X is an even number. X ang kumakatawan sa mga elements na kasali sa set G. Anong mga elements na ito? Yun ay even numbers. Therefore, 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. Z equals x such that x is an ocean. Ibig sabihin, mga oceans ang elements ng set Z. Sa set W naman, ang basa dyan ay W equals x such that x is an element of rational numbers. Sa math kasi, ang ganyang style ng Q ay symbol for rational numbers. While the last example is read as Y equals x element of integers, such that x is greater than 0. So, ano ang mga elements ng y? Una, dapat integer. So, pwede negative numbers like negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. 0 is also an integer. And of course, positive numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Pero dahil may nilagay na x is greater than 0, ang gagamitin lang natin ay mga integers na greater than 0, gaya ng 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on and so forth. Again, to summarize the different set notations, here they are. Here are some examples of writing sets in different notations. Let's say we have a set. J is a set of primary colors. So, union descriptive notation. Sa roster method, ang gagawin mo lang is to enumerate the primary colors. So, they are blue, red, and yellow. Pwede po bang yellow, red, blue? Pwede, pwede. 
kahit ano pang arrangement, basta mailista mo ang mga elements, okay lang yun. Sa set builder notation naman, ay j is equal to x such that x is a primary color. Example number two, descriptive notation. Set M is a set of continents. So, roster method, M is equal to Asia, Europe, North America, South America, Australia, Antarctica, Africa. So, ililista mo lang lahat ng continents. So, set builder notation naman, M equals X such that X is a continent. Here is another example. H is a set of integers greater than zero. So, roster method, again, simply list integers that are greater than zero. So, one, two, three, four, and so on. Notice, there are three dots after four. Ang tawag natin doon ay ellipsis. Ibig sabihin nun ay may kasunod pang mga elements ang four, pero masyadong marami at walang hangganan, kaya ellipsis na lang ang ginagamit natin. Sa set builder notation, pwedeng H equals x such that x is an integer greater than zero, or h equals x element of integers such that x is greater than zero. The next part of the video are some additional terms and their definitions. First is finite set. If the member of the elements can be counted, then it is a finite set. Example, in set A, the elements are 1, 2, 3, and 4. Finite set ito dahil 1, 2, 3, 4 lang ang elements ito at wala ng karugtong. Mabibilang mo kasi ang mga elements. Ganon din sa set B. A, E, I, O, U lang ang elements at wala ng iba. Samantalang sa infinite set naman, endless or walang katapusan ng elements. In infinite sets, we usually see an ellipsis after the elements, meaning there are still elements following the last element listed. Pero may mga chance din, walang ellipsis gaya ng set R. Pero kung ililista mo ang elements ng set R, infinite set din ito. Subset. It is a set whose elements are also elements of another set. Sa example, ang elements ng E ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. At ang set G naman ay 2, 4, and 6. Masasabi natin na ang G ay subset ng E kung ang lahat ng elements ng G ay makikita mo rin sa E. At dahil ang 2, 4, 6 ay nasa set E din, kaya ang G ay subset ng E. Huwag magalala, ang mas detailed na discussion ng subset ay nasa ibang video. Next is cardinality of set. Tandaan ang symbol for cardinality. Ang set A sa definition ay maaaring kahit anong set. Kapag sinabing cardinality of set A, ibig sabihin, ilan ang elements of set A? Sa example, ang set B ay may elements na 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. What is the cardinality of B? The answer is 5. Bilangin mo lamang ang mga elements. Set Y is continents of the world. Ano-ano nga bang mga continents? Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe, and Australia or Oceania. There are seven continents, therefore, the cardinality of Y is 7. Null set, also called empty set or void set. It is a set that has no element. Kaya empty set kasi walang laman. Please remember the symbols well. Now, these are the common mistakes in writing a null set. If you're going to use curly brackets, use them only. Wag nang ilagay yung isa pang symbol. Also, R is not an empty set because it has an element which is zero. The proper way of writing a null set are like set A and Q. Equal sets are sets that has the same elements. In the examples, notice that sets A and B have same elements A, B, and C. Therefore, they are equal sets. Sets E and O are also equal sets since the elements are the same, although arranged differently. Equivalent sets. These are sets whose numbers of sets are the same. Same cardinality. In examples, set A and B both have three elements. They are equivalent sets. Ang basa natin dyan ay A equivalent to B. Sa next example, ang set E ay may apat na elements. Ang set F ay may apat na elements din, kaya E is equivalent to F. Universal set. 
usually denoted as u, which is the sum of all the elements of its related sets. Halimbawa, ang section 1, section 2, section 3 sa grade 7. Section 1, 2, and 3 ang mga related sets at ang universal set naman ay grade 7.